guys, this morning we're going to be trying out some new primers. My sister-in-law recently watched a Wayne Goss video and she was talking about the silicone primers that he was saying were really, really good for oily skin and she purchased them and sent them to me. I'm assuming she's going to be testing them out on her channel as well. If I find that she does, I will link you to that at the bottom of my channel, but I, I haven't seen her do it yet. So um, these are called The Ordinary. They're not very expensive at all. I believe they're around 3 to $5 a piece. One of them is more expensive than the other. I'm not too sure which one is. Um, but we're gonna give them a try if I mean if Wayne Goss suggests them I think um, I think I should probably try them out so uh, thank you Amy for sending me these and thank you Wayne Goss for suggesting them so I'm gonna go ahead and do um, one in the middle of my t-zone here and then one for the rest of my face because they're both supposed to be separate type of primers so the ordinary highly adhesive silicone primer is the one I'm gonna put in my t-zone area here which is this one here and it's just a white primer and then this one here the ordinary high spreadable fluid primer is the one I'm going to put in like the outside of my face as like a you know an, a regular regular primer now this one here is supposed to fill in your pores make your pores smaller and help with oil throughout the day and then this one here is supposed to fill in the fine lines on your face and also help your makeup stay on for the whole day. So I'm going to go ahead and just take a little bit of this one here to start. And it's just a white type of primer here. Alright, so I don't really see like a huge blur on the pores that I have. But, I mean, that doesn't matter. Let's see what happens. And I hope I'm using these in the right order. I watched this video last night again to see. So then the other one is just a silicone dropper. And this one is really, really like silicone based, as you can tell. All right, that actually feels really silicone-y, like really, really soft on my, on my hand. So go ahead and zoom out just a little bit all right so I'm gonna use a foundation that I know that by the end of the day that did that did blur a little bit so that's good that I know that by the end of the day it will come off on my t-zone I just did a video on this I'll link that in a card up top so if you want to see that I do like this foundation but um, within about six hours it was completely gone in my t-zone area um, due to the oils but the rest of my face it, it held the oils at bay so I want to see if this is going to make a difference with this foundation and this is the CoverGirl Stay Luminous foundation so during the winter months which is what we're in right now I normally have a lot of um, dry patches on my face so I'm gonna go ahead and give this um, foundation a try with it today so I'm gonna go and let this primer sit for a minute because you know, you gotta let this primer sit for at least five minutes before you put anything on top of it. So I'm gonna go do that real quick and then I'll come back with the foundation and all my makeup on and let you know if it did anything weird because sometimes foundations and primers can mix weirdly. I can't tell if this foundation has silicone in it or not so I don't know how it's gonna mix with this particular primer. So I'll be back with a full face of makeup and then I'll tell you how it went on with this primer and then we're gonna just wear it all day and see what happens. So right now it is Six, oh, 6.28 or 29 in the morning. So that's when we've got the primer on, we're gonna put the foundation on, and I'll give you the time after I put the foundation on and I come back and then we can wear it all day. All right guys, all right, so I'll here's the finished look. I think that the primer does really well. It doesn't mess with the foundation at all. The foundation glided on really nicely, so I'm pretty excited about that. My pores look a little bit smaller, which is what Wayne said in his video would happen. So. I'm pretty impressed about that. So what we're going to do, I have my, my full face of makeup on at about 6.40 this morning. So um, that's when we're going to call the time 6.40 because we want to see, you know, how this primer works with foundation. So I'm going to say 6.40 was the time that we finished this morning. So I'm going to go ahead and go to work. 
let's see what happens like I told you in the beginning of this video this foundation tends to come off right in the middle of my face at about six hours so yesterday when I did a review on this foundation I came home at lunch and my nose completely did not have any foundation on it so hopefully this primer will keep that on there um, right now my nose is very covered with foundation so we will see what happens all right I will be back in about six to seven hours show you what it looks like then and then we'll be back at the end of the day all right guys I'll be back in about six hours we'll talk to you guys about so it is now my lunch break we are testing out this new primer that I got it is 107 in the afternoon so what time did we start today um, <clears throat> I think it was around seven o'clock so that's about six hours that we're using this primer and I think it's doing really rather good. I'm actually super excited about it. The foundation today looks more full coverage at six hours than it did yesterday when I had it on. And again, I will link that video above so you'll be able to see. But like this area here in the middle of my face has not went away I still have foundation there so I'm super excited I am a little a tad bit oily so I'm just gonna take this beauty blender and just kind of you know go over my face here in those areas where I'm a little oily and I think we're gonna call it good for now so we're in at six hours and it the the makeup still looks exactly the same that it did when I put on this morning. I'm super excited about this. Now these two primers are extremely inexpensive. Um, I will link them down below as well. So I'm going to go um, go back to work and we'll see how it looks at the end of the day. I'm so excited about this stuff. Super excited that my sister-in-law sent this to me and I'm super excited that she watched it on Wayne Goss' video and decided to try it out. I wonder how it's working out for her. I'm gonna have to give her a call tonight and see what she had thought about it if she's used it yet. So, all right, we're six hours in and the makeup still looks extremely great and I'm super excited. All right, I'll be back at the end of the night to show you what it looks like at like 10 hours or 11 hours. All, all right, right, guys, we'll it is later. now 5.48. I just got off of work. I have to go to the grocery store to get some dinner stuff. And I just got home and oh my God, guys, can you see what I'm seeing with this foundation today? I am super surprised and super just excited about these two primers. Oh my God. So this is the foundation that I had on yesterday I do have a video coming up for it it will come up before this video does so I will link it so you can see what the difference is just in the foundation it still looks like it did when I put it on this morning I'm so just shocked I mean obviously I'm definitely a little shiny let me go ahead and pat that off real quick here but my makeup, I mean, all of my foundation is still on. All of my contour and my blush, my highlight, I mean, all of it is still on like it was when I put it on this morning. I am totally in love with the, the Ordinary Primer. It really, really did make a huge difference with this particular foundation. I'm going to assume it's going to make a huge difference with all of my foundations, but I did try it today with the Luminous Foundation from CoverGirl, and yesterday when I wore it, the whole area inside, this whole area right here was completely gone by the time I got back from, got home from work at 10 o'clock, and now, I mean, at 10 o'clock in 10 hours and now it still looks exactly the same i am just i'm completely shocked now you can see where i have my glasses on all day that did rub off but i do wear regular seeing eye glasses throughout the day so that came off just from you know having something pressed against it but i'm shocked i highly 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 recommend this ordinary the ordinary high um, adhesive silicone primer and the high spreadable fluid primer for anybody that has oily skin I think it's amazing I think it's magic and I'm super excited and I will link Wayne Goss's video down below so you can see him talking about it and suggesting it they also have other ingredients or other um, face products within the ordinary line which I'm now going to go and buy I know that it is a company 
out of the country so um, that's going to be something that you have to figure out what the price is for the United States as opposed to where it's coming from because I think it's in euros over there but they do ship to the United States so I'm super excited these two items together cost about eight dollars I believe so <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to turn back I'm going to go and order another stock of these so I can have like a little you know stock in my pile because I don't want to run out of these and I don't want them to sell out <laughs> I love them thank you Amy for buying it for me the best primer I've ever used thus yet and it was only five dollars and three dollars for these so I highly suggest them all right guys I'm just gonna keep on rambling about this amazing primer but I'm gonna go and make dinner and I shall talk to you guys sometime next week let me know if you guys have any questions about it I'm just super impressed I'm just super impressed. All right, guys, I, I'm gonna go. All right, we'll talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I shall talk to you sometime next week. Bye.